Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Um, so today I'm in my eldest daughter's room, bedroom, and I have a lot to do. So the backstory of this room, we had a giza burst in 2020 when we first bought the house and again um, this year and the insurance uh, paid for the repairs but we had to find providers like um, someone who does ceilings and also uh, people that could fix a giza or yeah fix a giza uh, but we didn't um, because in 2020 the insurance uh, got a new giza or the provider they got a new giza and with that giza it was still under warranty so um, they, I phoned the company that supplies the gizas um, because it's got a tag and numbers and everything and uh, what, what do you call that? I can't even remember that name of the code thing that you, I'll just put a name of it here. Um, so we supplied that and every all the information that was on the giza and they replaced the giza. So my new provider installed it but they did charge me extra because now I took it out of the house. I cannot have, because that was 2020 so in three years the giza burst twice which is not good for my, obviously my house especially now that I fitted um, wardrobes in the kids bedrooms in both the bedrooms because last time the giza actually burst and it flooded both bedrooms so they had to fix both bedrooms and the floors as well as you guys know I still have um, wooden floors and that's not good for um, wooden floors especially with water so now um, I got my new provider to fix the ceiling and to but I asked them not to paint it because um, I wanted to do the painting because it was an extra charge now for them to fix the um, the roof, the ceiling, and then do the paint work as well. So I just asked them to um, install some cornices for me as well. Um, that was something that wasn't on the initial coat of the ceiling. So I just asked them to do the um, cornices as well for me. But I bought the cornices because the ones I wanted to install, child. Mm -mm they were not it so i installed those ones but i'm gonna be showing you guys around of the things that i want to do in this room it's basically a mini makeover i don't know whether it's a mini makeover or it's a makeover makeover but i know one day i want to do all the bedrooms like give them each a makeover makeover but right now i just want to change things up and give her a somewhat made over bedroom so the first thing that she said she wanted she said she wants a black wall and a slatted um headboard that's gonna be a diy and then i need to paint um the whole walls as well uh replace her curtain rail i need to take this thing out that uh, the cam house came with um, I knew that I was going to take it out one day, but I guess this is not the time. So, um, last night, I, would, I tried to document this, but then I just realized the lighting wasn't it. So, that's why I'm starting afresh. So, last night we did um, the ceiling, we patched up the ceiling with um, Rhino light. So, we patched it up. Now, the next thing is to send it down and also to prime the ceilings and um, then paint the ceilings before we paint the walls. Another thing that I want to do in this room is to install a plug on the opposite wall to where the wood is going to be because there's no plug there and um, I know my way around electricals but I'm not going to be showing you guys that because you know me that I'm breaking some rules here and there. I'm not about that. Um, but I'm gonna be showing you DIYs, but that I'm not gonna be doing because I'm not a certified electrician, but I'm comfortable in doing electricals myself. So I'm gonna be doing that. I need some conju pipe. I've got a uh, wire for um, feeding from, actually getting power from the current plug that is here. So I'm gonna get power from that into that new plug and then get my conju pipe because I also have to fix um, at the bottom of the wall because I told you guys we had twice we had this giza burst actually prior to us buying the house apparently there was a, a, a burst of that giza but then also because it was too cold that winter when we bought the house then um, there was uh, 
all the flooding but the initial one it happened and no one caught it up until the late owner's kids they came to the house and they found that the house was flooded that is why also we have a lot of damped walls you guys saw when i did my passage walls that that is the damage from the previous time before we bought the house um with the situation of the water you know so yeah i'm gonna be doing that fixing the walls at the bottom and uh, put some rhino light once they are completely dry and then move on to the painting so this is not gonna be a one day thing or maybe even a one week thing i think it's gonna be a couple of weeks so i'm hoping that uh, maybe two three weeks because i don't want to be rushing i've got other things that i'm doing so um but the first thing i just want to um, get the ceiling situated and the plug first and then the bottom of the um, excuse me the uh, plastering it's basically plastering so I have to plaster the bottom of the walls get them nice and smooth and yeah and then the rest of the things you guys are still gonna see on the same on this very video so yeah um, I've been talking and talking and I still need to go and buy um, the plug itself and the conjure pipe so let's get cracking okay so this is how my ceiling look like and that's the cornice that we installed and this side you guys remember when um, i was doing the getting the wardrobes situated i painted the back of this wall uh, white as a backdrop for the wardrobes because they didn't put um, the backing so this wall needs to be painted we've patched up everything there this is the situation with the um, curtain railing uh, i'm gonna try and raise it up and put a new curtain rail possibly a black one to complement the black wall here and the wood and yeah and then and then here is the damage the water damage situation that i need to take care of and yeah it goes all around but i did do it uh, at the back of the bed so that's not a problem. So I just need to do here, this wall, and that wall, that side as well. So yeah, let me just get going, guys. Hi, guys. So I am back from the shops. So I got um, the curtain rail. Um, it's a 2.5 meters one. And the it's a 25 millimeter and then i also got this um just bear with me please i got this plug with 70 rands it's a multi-plug and i got the um, brackets and it's the heavy duty ones so that's good because i mean sometimes heavy um not heavy what do you call them um lockout curtains they can be quite heavy especially the 2.5 meter ones and then i also got this um the wall box um so yeah for the plug so yeah i'm not gonna be showing this part of me uh, doing the electricals i did say you guys i'm just gonna show you once i'm done and possibly i've also plastered the wall and i believe you guys have seen me um doing plastering so i'm just gonna show you guys um maybe like shorts or snippets of this but i'm not gonna be showing you how i mix and all that jazz and how i apply everything it's just gonna be small small things here and there but so yeah let me get going
guys welcome back to day number two of this i don't know what to call it let's just pretend it's a makeover okay welcome to day two of this makeover so today um i did mention yesterday guys that i wasn't gonna be showing you guys what or how i plaster walls because i've done that numerous times on my channel so i um, done plastering and I was doing the method called floating now so I just want to quickly show you how far it went I did also uh, fit in the light yesterday no this morning because yesterday I did um, what do you call it open the wall up for the that little case I can't even remember the box the electrical box I did um, install it but then we ran out of problems my drill driver um, ran out of battery and I didn't even know where my charger was so I just started off this morning so now I'm done with all those installations the electrical installation I'm done um, everything is working perfectly fine and now I was done with, I'm done with the plastering um, busy on the other side doing the floating and now I just want to show you guys how it looks like at the moment so i am done with plastering and i've done floating the side and yeah and then there is my light it's working perfectly fine i actually have my um ring lights plugged in uh, uh plugged in right now i'm yet to clean here and then clean around like somewhere here to clean out the wall and the floors as well um but pretty much i'm done with the plastering i'm gonna be giving it maybe like two weeks for it to completely completely dry and cure dry not cure man and then uh after two weeks i'm going to um do the rhino light and then move on to okay i'm just gonna be showing you guys on the other side where i haven't um done the floating on the wall by the way floating guys it's this smoothing out it's the smoothing out of the okay there it's focused it's smoothing out the um the plastering so that it's right uh, it's flush with the current wall so you guys can see there that is uh flush and here if you can see like with the gaps there at the bottom i'm not too worried about that because i'm going to use um baseboards at the bottom and this here um i'm yet to scrape it off so that i apply the rhino light again uh prior to painting and then this side just give me a moment as i move the side i haven't done the floating process this is how it looks like if you haven't done any floating so i'm yet to finish up the side and there as well and then get Two weeks later i'll be doing the, um, the rhino light and give it two days and then start priming and and painting the wall and then i will be moving on to other things i'll move on to other things like um maybe doing the headboard but um the ceiling has been sanded down and um now i just need to get it uh, primed so that's one of the things that i'm gonna be doing but i'm not gonna be rushing i did mention that um i've got other things that i'm busy with so in between i'm going to be uh, painting this and give it like the primer then give it maybe a day or two before i move on to painting again with the applications of the paint i'm gonna give them like a day or two on the ceiling as well before like completely um getting done with it okay so i still need to finish up here you know and the side as well that's where i stole the power from and that's a new the the plug that i bought yesterday and because my daughter told me that other one was faulty and it wasn't um working on one side but it's we actually found it like that but in actual fact there was a plug that broke inside that um one side so i sorted it out it's working perfectly fine now hey guys um i do hope that i'm showing quite well i can't see um so today is day three of this makeover <sighs> um so i have this wood that's why um i'm starting with the headboard today and i've got this wood it's gonna be the 
supports for the headboard at the back i'm gonna be paying sending them down and painting them black and then i also have some wood that um, i've already cut into size i just need to send them down first and then i'm going to stain and sew them and then continue with the, but i don't have enough i think i only have uh eight slats of that so i'm just gonna start so long and then i'm going to uh once i've got more wood i'm going to continue but i just want to show you guys the first steps of it i'm not going to record the other part the rest of it you guys are going to see it when it's already on the wall so yeah just want to get into that and yeah let's continue Ooh. um the grit that i have on my sender it's a 120 grit and i'm not gonna go any higher in terms of like like say for instance 150 or 180 i don't see the need to um so yeah let me just start so long you guys for watching up until this far please don't forget to smash that like button and also to subscribe if you haven't and please do also engage in the comments below and with that said i will see you on my next video bye guys